Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Travel with Rick. I'm your host Rick Howard and I want to welcome you to our weekly video blog dedicated to the number one vacation destination in the world and my favorite place, the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. As always, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who watched last week's episode and left us a comment. Um, as you guys know, I really appreciate and enjoy reading your comments, so thank you very much. They were a little off last week um, by the number. Um, it's understandable. Uh, the Finding Nemo musical show over at Animal Kingdom it was a really long video. Um, hope it wasn't a boring video. I think it's a great show, so I hope you did enjoy the show. Um, but uh, like I said, the comments were off. Got a shorter version of a show for you this week. Actually, got a short attraction for you this week. We're going over to the Magic Kingdom and we're going to check out the Barnstormer at Goofy's Wiseacre Farm. Now, this video we shot um, again for my daughter's 16th uh, birthday trip a couple of weeks ago. Um, it seemed like we all became little kids for this trip. You know, we had breakfast at Cinderella's Castle, which we had not done in years, which is just a big treat for us. And and we did a lot of the, the younger kids' rides. I mean, we went on Snow White, we did Winnie the Pooh, and we found ourselves over in Mickey's Toontown for the first time in a long time. It was really nice. We just had a great time. And it was great to see my daughter, who's now 16, with her friends, just having such a great time with them, and enjoying the things that we've done um, for years as they were toddlers growing up at, the, at Walt Disney World, which is just really, really cool for us. So. Um, I thought while we were doing it, I might as well get a video of it and share it for you guys. It is a great little attraction over in uh, Mickey's Toontown. So when you come into the park, you can catch the train and ride it over to Toontown, or you can just walk through Main Street and uh, kind of hang a right through uh, Fantasyland and or go over through um, Tomorrowland, actually, and cut up by the teacups, and you'll find yourself in Mickey's Toontown. And, uh, you know, there you can find the judge's tent, you can find Mickey and Minnie's house, and there you'll find the Barnstormer at Goofy's Wiseacre Farm. It's a really short roller coaster. It only lasts a minute and four seconds. So if I don't talk too long, this week's video is going to be really, really short. But we're going to shoot for that. Um, the, there is a minimum height requirement of 35 inches. So it's for the little guys. Um, like I said, it's only a minute long. The maximum speed of it is 20 miles per hour. It is a chain lift type of roller coaster. It's still wheeled roller coaster, so it's really smooth. Um, you ride in crop duster type of airplanes, actually that's the lead car of it, and um, you know that's kind of the story behind it. It's a small thrill ride in Mickey's Toontown Fair. Um, the story behind this ride is that guests fly in Goofy's homemade airplane as it swoops, twists, and turns and then goes, then gets going to full speed into a barn full of audio animatronic chickens. <laughs> this seems to be an airplane school taught by Goofy. So you can kind of figure out the rest for yourself there. You know, I love Goofy. He's, he is one of my favorite characters at Walt Disney World. Um, the barn the, the barn in the ride was actually the barn which housed the petting zoo that previously occupied the site. So where this is now, there used to be a petting zoo there. And um, um, just a great little quick, quickie roller coaster. Um, not too fast, not too high. Um, so your little guys and some of your bigger guys um, who are maybe not crazy roller coaster people are really going to enjoy this one. So come on, let's take a look at or take a ride on Goofy's Barnstormer or The Barnstormer at Goofy's Wiseacre Farm. Come on, let's go.
All right, well, I really hope you enjoyed that short but sweet roller coaster over at Goofy's Barn, uh, Goofy's Wiseacre Farm, and uh, that was the Barnstormer. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and give away a copy of Passport, one of my favorite things to do. Here I have the names of everyone who commented on last week's show. There are only a few of you, however, so um, it's easier to win. The odds are in your favor. All right. This week we have Linda Martin. Linda Martin. Linda, I'll go ahead and send you an email and all you have to do is just reply back to that email with your address and I will be happy to send you a copy of The Passporter Walt Disney World by Jennifer and Dave Marks, the unique travel guide planner, organizer, journaling keepsake. You guys hear me say it every week. We absolutely love this guidebook. It's just a wonderful way to plan and keep uh, memories of your trip. So, uh, Linda, go ahead and just uh, reply to that email when you get it from me, and I'll be happy to get a copy out to you. All right, question of the week. Okay, well, this was kind of a tame coaster, and there are some uh, bigger coasters. You've got Rock and Roller Coaster. You've got Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. Um, what's your favorite coaster at Walt Disney World? I know I'm a coaster nut. I love roller coasters. So what's your favorite one? Click on comments below. You guys know it. I don't even have to say it. Comments are like oxygen for me. I just love reading your comments. Love hearing your feedback. I appreciate you guys making that comment total ring down there. So if you're a first timer, if you've never left a comment, come on, chime in on this one. What's your favorite coaster at Walt Disney World? And uh, we'd love to hear from you. Got some cool things coming up next week I leave for Atlanta I actually leave for Orlando by way of Atlanta I've got a few days in Atlanta and I'm coming back to Orlando and going to Bay Lake Towers for the very first time really excited about staying there we're gonna do a live video there well we're gonna do a video there you guys won't see it live obviously we don't have the live streaming thing down yet we put them out on Friday that's how we roll here so um, we're gonna do a video for you though um, and you'll be one of, be among the first to see our stay anyway at Bay Lake Towers I know there's all, already a lot of videos out there on it so uh, we'll be adding ours to the mix and uh, hopefully show you some cool things around there and I'm gonna be doing some cool things at Bay Lake Towers so check in with us then and then I'm gearing up to go uh, in September for D23 so really excited about that and uh, we're gonna get some great more video for you from Disneyland so I've got a lot of cool things coming up and we're going to be really excited to be sharing we're already planning for food and wine as well so got a lot of cool things coming up the, to finish out the summer and roll into the fall and the holidays so thanks a lot for watching be sure to leave us a comment and i look forward to seeing you right back here on another episode of travel with rick thanks for watching everybody i'll see you real soon have a great week bye-bye